Oh man, I'm kind of sick actually because I'm every part right now uh, till this part I'm actually always saying uh, something stupid, something in the intro. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> so welcome to this video. Um, it's a different intro <laughs> this video. Um, but anyway, um, uh, this is oh uh, man, I l I really don't know where we were with counting. Um, well, I have no ID, um, but okay, I think you would already saw that in the description, uh, title of the video or something, uh, probably also in the description. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's go back, we left with add bookmarks, uh, with adding the bookmarks, and we were just about adding, or adding, editing the code for actually uh, opening a bookmark icon, so I'm going to select uh, the list LV bookmarks, uh, and then go to um, uh, go to uh, the the click event and remove the selected uh, change uh, selected index changed. Uh, so anyway, uh, by going to the LV bookmarks click, we're going to type in. Um, uh, well, it's actually pretty easy or something, but okay. So a WB one dot navigate and then a bracket and then I'm going to type LB data dot items dot item and then um it's going to be um uh so then uh, another bracket opening bracket and then it's showing you index as integer which is actually exactly the same as the LV bookmarks because um they these are bound to each other when there is something added to LV bookmarks it all is also added to LB data, so it has actually the same count and uh, index and stuff. So um, when we have two uh, things, we have the index zero and one, which are both the same. Either way, in LV bookmarks and in LB data, it doesn't actually matter. Only that LB data is actually showing you the URL, and LV bookmarks is going to show you the actual URL. Uh, title I mean <laughs> the document title uh, anyway I'm not going to uh, uh, talk about uh, this stuff anymore so I'm going to type in uh, for the index LV bookmarks that selected uh, oh, selected uh, uh, well selected items or something and then uh, <laughs> well dot item or something dot well, I don't know actually. I don't think it's right. Okay, so um, I don't actually uh, work uh, often with uh, some kind of list views, but okay, so um, let's see if we don't have any kind of index or something. Item start selected or something. Well, <laughs> it's kind of failing actually, but okay. Um, I thought it was kind of the same as a list box or something, so I'm going to find out the code and I'm going to get right back. Okay, so <laughs> I'm really sorry that I was such kind of failing because I actually said it was really easy, but it is actually, but <laughs> I forgot. So, um, anyway, um, now, well, let's start this sub again. So, uh, because it can be kind of confusing, so WB1 dot e uh, navigate equals to and now comes the part which I messed up earlier in this video of course um which is going to be um lb data data dot items dot item and then we are going to add an index and I'm going to I know uh, how to get the in uh, the current index a uh, number uh, in the list view so it's going to uh, l view um L V I mean uh well let's scroll a little bit down uh L V bookmarks dot selected in the says or something I don't know how to uh, pronounce it but okay so and then dot items uh item I mean and then zero uh so closing bracket for this one for the uh selected indices dot item or something um another one for closing uh the uh L B data and item so that should be it. Um, well, not really, actually. So we had add another 
uh, well, I've forgotten. I have to remove the equals, of course. So just between brackets. So we have actually, we are ending with three brackets. Ah, oh, well, it's kind of cool or something. I don't know, but okay. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to show you right now. Uh, so I'm going to add my own page as a bookmark. And go back to YouTube, and I'm going to add this one as bookmark. And I'm going to type, go to Google, Google.com. Uh, you can do that by pressing uh, whoa, whoa, Google.com. Uh, well, it's saying Google slash. It's kind of stupid or something, but okay. Um, so anyway, I'm going to type in add as bookmark. Um, so now we go to uh, this YouTube, and now it's going to be messed up. See, uh, ah, well, now it's not actually. Um, so. <laughs> well so we can actually use it as something uh, well it, it is actually working I think I know that only this one is kinda reacting pretty slowly um, but it doesn't actually matter you can also type in uh, uh, within the LV bookmarks and any kind of things uh, you can oh well in this one we can type in txt url the text equals to and then we're going to copy this like that. So as it should be, um, it's going to be changing the uh, ty uh, the URL right away. At least I hope so. Um, which right now takes a couple of minutes. www.google.com. Ah well, <laughs> what the fuck? It's, okay, it's kind of stupid. It's showing you YouTube.com. I don't know why actually, but okay. So um, see now it is actually changing. Uh, well, still pretty slowly or something, but okay. I don't know why it's actually that. Uh, you can add a timer so it will actually refresh always. Um, but anyway, um, so so this is actually the bookmarking stuff. Uh, let's see if we can add some kind of uh, uh, cool things. Uh, grid line. You can uh, do the grid like uh, grid lines or something. Uh, uh, the tight tight tile size you can change whatever you want to a uh, large icon so you can actually uh, do icons in it um let's see items you can add them by the way too just right away uh, with that with with this uh, so um, yeah you don't actually gotta have to do this but it is a way um so, oh man I'm <laughs> So anyway um well I think it is pretty cool something uh <laughs> I don't know but um anyway uh, you can also add favorites it's just actually pretty the same as bookmarks uh since I actually didn't find out what's the difference between that only that bookmarks um you can add at least in uh, Mozilla Firefox. You can add um, this kind of keywords, so you can quick search on some kind of bookmark. But anyway, um, so I think this one is the last uh, video. Maybe I'm going to add another video about tab uh, in the so you can have uh, multiple things open. Um, yeah. So and maybe, maybe, maybe I really don't know, but I think it is kind of cool when I make it. If I actually find out how, I'll just Google it or something. But um, uh, how to handle uh, file opening stuff? So uh, that sounds pretty stupid. Uh. I mean, uh, so whenever uh, a browser is called for some kind of thing, uh, let's see, uh, when you uh, click on your mail in Windows Live or something, it will open up the default browser, which is for me uh, Mozilla Firefox. Maybe I can find that found out. Um, how you can actually let this program open like that so uh, anyway thanks for watching this video well feel free to comment rate subscribe or email me um, email address is at the description of the video and I thought uh, till now on I in every part of this uh, video session stuff I said it right because in a couple of previous tutorials I am always saying that my email address is actually at the video of the description which is pr uh, pretty stupid actually but anyway uh, so I'm not uh, holding you longer for uh, 
for anything I don't know, but okay, so thanks for watching this video again, and I'll catch you later.